Hello guys and girls and welcome to another cookery show with your chef Nathaniel Boschnick. Now, as you know, I have teamed up with Mental Health Group, which is it's worth talking about. Which I'm loving my new top, by the way. Thank you so much, guys. Um, basically, I'm showing you how to cook on a budget, healthily and simply. So, you know, like, if you're suffering from mental health or anything like that, it's easy meals that you can cook and you can reheat over the next few days, and it's cooking on a budget, so hence the name. And also for the general public, which is going to cook with me easy tasty meals, one and two pages, and we've got YouTube, and everyone watched it. And also I've got my own catering page, which is what we can cater to, which is for functions, weddings, and whatever you want. Yeah, so, moving straight on. So I cooked up a joint of pork the other day in the slow cooker, which is pulled pork. Um, I have used it in various different things. I've had it in a hot sandwich. I had it in a baguette yesterday. That was absolutely stunning. It was some mustard, Dijon mustard. So today I'm going to be using it to make something just a little bit Christmas and a little bit nice. Because I know you're all getting in the festive mood now. So I know people love pasties. Now, a lot of people got the pan bakery. I, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, I'm not knocking the place, but the, the, the cleanliness, the hygiene, and what they're actually probably putting in the pasties, not what you think it is. So... I'm going to show you something simple, quick, and easy to make at home, and it'll be so tasty, yeah? So, I'm going to do two different types of pasties. So, I've got cranberry, which is from Aldi. It's cheap as chips. And we've got apple. Now, you think you know where I'm going with this. But also, I've got a box of sage stuffing, yeah? Which can pick up for about anything between 20p to a pound, yeah? Anyway, you go. And obviously, a lot of people have been saying you don't ever cook anything vegetarian. Yeah, so I'm going to cook something vegetarian for you today, which is something a little bit of a twist that I like to do, yeah? Now, cauliflower cheese I find very boring. So we're going to do cauliflower, broccoli, and leek cheese. Sometimes you put shallots and potatoes in, but the beauty of it is you can change it up. You can put carrots in, you can put whatever you want to put in it, guys, yeah? So, keep it simple. So, first, what we're going to do is, I'm going to wash my hands. Make sure everything's set up, and I shall be back in a second. Boom. And I'm back. So basically, I've pre-chopped some leek, which is, I love leek. It's basically the family of onions, yeah? It's good onions, it's quite, it's still quite related to that in the veggie, yeah? Right. And you've obviously got your broccoli and your cauliflower. Now you can buy them as well, which will you sell. Now what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to show you, I've got it. I'm going to parboil it in hot boiling water from the kettle, yeah? And I'll tell you for why. Because what people don't realise is when you're cooking um, your broccoli or your cauliflower or any veg, it loses its nutrients and it loses its flavour because you're overboiling it, yeah? So what I'm going to do is boil it in the water, in the oven, just like so. Not overcooking it, I'm not overboiling it on the hob. I'm leaving it just sitting there just to soften, yeah? Just to soften the veg. Just like so. Just be careful when you're popping them in, obviously, because it's piping, piping hot water. Yeah? And this will, like, almost like blanch your veg out. Just like I said, be careful. Right, the veg And all I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that there. Just like so. I'm going to go soften. Just like that. And I'm going to move on to the best sauce. Which I'm going to show you how I make this. I'm going to make it a little bit different to everybody else. Yeah? So, firstly, the first thing that I do differently is the cheese that I use, yeah? I use mozzarella. The reason why I use mozzarella is saving those lasagnas or anything like that, pasta, but pasta things. A lot of people, especially Italian people, will tell you it is so much nicer than mozzarella, yeah? And I think it's got less fat in it, yeah? It's high in protein, which it actually does seem like high protein. I've got this from Asda. Pick it up from Alway for 150. Dirty, yeah, dirty. Now, all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add full fat milk, yeah, because it's premium, into your pan, just like so. Good plug of it. Don't forget to get any cheese sauce, then. And it's too much for your parents. I'm going to do this size. Which, I just put that into four. Yeah? So that's four meals. And you've got a bigger family, bigger parents, this, bigger quality of everything. Obviously. So there you go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some flour. Yeah, it doesn't matter about which flour you use. Yeah, I'm just going to whisk. If you really haven't got a whisk, 
if you've got a lot of mouths or twins. But if you have one, you can always use the bar. It's the same process, yeah? Just whisk that in, just like so. And you won't get rid of you won't get rid of the lumps, yeah? Like that. I hope you're all alright anyway, and you're you're all doing well. I'm standing back because I'm not gonna get it all over the top and I've had quite a few uh, mishaps over the last few times. I know they are staged, they really are real, as some people will know. So yeah. There you go, right, so this is when I change it up. I'm not gonna really put things in and everything. Yeah. Well, <laughs> tiny bit of salt because everything's got something in it to preserve it, yeah? And something's not very good for And a lot of people do overly do it. The only time I really will have a lot of salt is uh, fish and chips, which who doesn't? Do you know what I mean? Who doesn't love a lot of vinegar and salt and salt and vinegar? Do you know what I mean? Right, so now this is where I'm going to change it up a little bit. Real up there. Just a tiny bit, not too much. You know? It gives it that wintery flavour. That wintery feeling. So this is like this is winter food, this is warm food, this is and it's also like coming up to Christmas, so we won't make it look a bit more Christmas in this flower. Like Hayes Wine doing the passes I'm doing. So there we go. So we've got some fresh rose rain, yeah? Tiny bit of time. Has anybody got time for that? <laughs> so there we go. Whisk that in, just like so. I'm gonna put that on to the oven. And then that no top. Yeah. Once that starts to get warm, then add your cheese. And keep whisking as you do it, because if you overdo it with the cheese, it will thicken too much, yeah? And we don't want that to happen, yeah? So I shall be back in one momento. Right, I'm back, my little lovelies. So, I've chopped up my, um, pork joint, which is, um, whole pork. <laughs> right, so basically I made this a, a couple of days ago. So it's been refrigerated, so it is okay. It's absolutely fine, so don't worry about that. Um, now, this is what I'm trying to show you, is how you can make things go a lot further. Now, this joint of pork in particular, I paid from Asda. I think it were about £3.50 or £4, and it wasn't reduced. It was literally like a small pork joint, which I then put into my slow cooker, which is here. I should have just made my phone, but never mind. And it's good for one, it's good for two. I mean, like, this is actually, it's good for four people. I've, I've, made, I've made so much out of it. I've done a stir fry out of it. I did, um, it was mash. You know, you can have it in Yorkshire puddings, you, you know. I put it in a curry. Pasta bake dishes. So many different things. This is what I'm showing you how to make money go on server. Anyway, without, without bubbling, I'll leave them more. I'm going to put this part. I'm going to use now, which I'm not going to use all of it, because I'm going to have some of that warm in a summer's water. Because I absolutely love it, because I'm going to just night time, which is bad, this is why I'm putting weight on. But it is winter time, so I want a bit of meat on me, because it's bad for like the corns and the flues and everything like that. I'm going to need this in the microwave for a minute, which I don't normally ever use microwave, but, um, on my cooking shows, but, I'm just having this move. Right, so. Oh, that's nice. So, I'm going to move straight on with this. Right, so. Minute in the microwave. It's 900 watt. So, this is, this is a proper, it is a proper, like, a sort of like, microwave. So, um, basically, that'll go in for a minute and that'll be ready. I've got some puff pastry, which I've got, which is a pound. I can make it on pastry, but it's so much easier to just do this, yeah. I've had a lot easier. So, and I have my stuff in, which it's not hard to make stuff in. It is in a box, a box to it. Bit of salt or pepper, if you want. There you go. Right, so I'm going to move straight on from over here. Yep. Right, because this is starting to get warm. So, basically, we've got some of them. Just like so. Add it into your milk, I'll show you. Right, so look. That's thickened up with the flour. Your salt and pepper and your thyme and rosemary, yeah? So, I'll that. I just add and stir. Don't overly do it, yeah? I've added about half a bag there, yeah? Let that thicken. Oh, God, yeah. Do you know what I'm about it? Look at this, right? Remember? Remember? That's what I'm saying, cheese lovers. Look at that. 
So I shall be back in a second, though. And I'm back. So, where's the plan? Get your veg. Make sure it's all drained off the plan. See, what I was trying to say earlier is, when you overboil your veg, you lose the nutrients, hence why... Oh, we'll just now. Let's just put it here. Yeah. Um, hence why, like, you know, like, many people, when they do stir fries and stuff, if you notice, it's a lot more crunchy as the broccoli, because they're not that fever. Right? Because you're losing the nutrients. That's why I always use the water. I do boil my veg. I use the water for the veg because the nutrients is in that. Uh, I use that for the gravy, not for the veg. I don't think it makes it. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't care. So yeah, it's worth talking about. So there we go, right. So I've left these for a good 10 15 minutes to par boil at the part. I like stuffing, you know? And there we go, so just break them up. Some of them might be a little bit bigger. And you want to make sure that the sauce really goes all over it. Not when my hands have been washed. So you can add potatoes, you can add whatever you want to, you can add carrots. But I just wanted to do something a little bit more vegetarian, as people have been saying. You know, and if you're if you're lactose intolerant, you can get lactose free cheese, you can get everything, yeah. There is everything out there for everything, yeah. Right, so Here's the sauce. This is why I know I'm good at what I do. Look at that. Da, 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 da. Here you go, I know how to make how to make the sauces because it's it's just it's you've got half the idea. So all you're gonna do is gonna pour this over. Imagine what this is gonna be like with its baked guys. Yeah? Just over like that. You see the herbs throughout it as well. It's a simple video this today, so basically. There we go. I will be doing another video this week, later on in the week. So, but I will let you all know that there is big things coming. So I'm going to be going on a course very shortly because I've been asked um, to do something for the LGBT group, have my own LGBT group. So in Keyflet and throughout Yorkshire possibly, I don't know, I'm guessing through Keyflet. So I'm eating a bit of leak. A bit of leakage there. <laughs> Obviously. So, <laughs> oh, I'm going to crack myself up. Right, so I'm going to put this in anyway. It's 220. So between 200 to 220, depending on your oven, yeah? So that'll go in. And I will. Not even a little secret, when you want it really crispy at the top, if it doesn't go as crispy. So anyway, moving on to back to what I went on about. This is what I'm going to go back on as I was made. So, yeah, we're doing an LGBT group, um, which obviously I'm going for training for because as much as I am gay and stuff, things have happened and things have come forward and changed a lot since I was younger. So I've got to still educate myself on that. But also the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to is I've been looking at a couple of retail units and I've been looking at units for my own cafe. Now, as if you know me well enough, you'll know I've already had a restaurant side of a pub before and I've always had my catering business, which I've had for about five, six years, on and off. I've took like gaps out in between, but I've done a lot of functions and stuff, even including like kids' cancer unit and stuff like that. So I've done a lot of things for charities as well over the years. I've tried to keep, you know, doing something and putting something back because it's... It's not about your self-ego, it's about just doing something good. You know, because there's a lot of people that have done stuff for me, I wouldn't care system, so people have put things there for me. People have helped me through my mental health. So, it's nice to put something back, so watch this space, guys. So basically what I'm trying to say is I will have my own business soon. And also it will be tied in with mental health and LGBT. So it will be a big team, which I'm looking forward to. So I prefer to watch this space. So, I am literally going to wash my hands and... So I'm the way up top, and I should be back in a second. Pardon me, sorry. Right, I'm back. So you pay for it. Very, very simple, guy. Wash your hands and everything. Roll out, just like that. Yeah. And I will split this into four. So, that's what you Thank you very much. So, and cut that. Down the middle, just like so. And then, uh, same process. It's a bit almost like sausage rolls. Well, maybe not. 
Take now me, I'm going to myself. Do what I'm saying. I'm having ADHD and also having my blind person. That's all different several of my personalities, including myself. So, it's always, it's always fun. So, I will say this People suffering from depression, people suffering at home, alone, and it is hard, and I get it, it is hard, it really is. So, basically, I know it sounds really daft, but you know when it's getting darker earlier, um, it affects your moods and stuff, so I have, throughout my flat, candles on, I have fairy lights on, I have loads of different bits of lighting. Now, not everybody can afford that, but candlelight is pretty cheap, and all my fairy lights are battery operated, so, there you go. You know what I mean? But, um, just little things like that, and music, I get a warm bath every night, I try to put some lavender in it, or try some different oils or something like that. There's loads of different things that can help you, to, to help with mental health and stuff. Because this time of year, we all get a bit bogged down, we all get a bit fed up, do you know what I mean? Plus it's a lot of pressure and high stress for Christmas coming along. So, you know, just simple little things, take some time out for yourself, talk for yourself a little, listen to your favourite music, don't let things get you down. Talk to somebody. If you can't talk to somebody, if you nobody to talk to, I'm always here. My message, my inbox is always open for all of you. I've been doing this for years, and I've been helping people for years. I don't mind all of it, because it helps me. It helps me tick better, yeah? So, I shall be back in a second, because I need to blow my nose. And, yeah. All right, so now I'm back. So, stuff it is done. Make sure it cools down, because when we paste it, it will melt it. That's the chance to cool down for a minute or two. The reason why I took this is to get rid of any germs or anything like that, which it will obviously talk more in there anyway. Right, so basically, you pick this up from any store, cranberry. That is a bit of light cranberry, you can have apple. Or just about, you don't have any. You know, if you don't want that sauce, you can put mint in, you can put whatever. But if you don't like it, you don't have to have it. I'm just showing you something a little bit festive, a little bit more Christmassy. Because we're getting to that bit now. And everybody's ramming it down the throat. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Oh god. God, I'm such a bitch. But I, it's literally getting rammed down everybody's throat. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't even sound about it. What did you say? Like, I'm sound like Christmas, it's like everybody. Every year, it gets. I'm sweating now because I'm getting embarrassed. Um, it's getting worse. It's getting earlier every year. I can't even speak about it. But continue anyway. Right, like, so crumble it. Yeah? Apple, yeah, just like that. Put on half your pastry. You put mustard in it, you can put whatever you want in it, my little bit. Right, yeah, and then you're sitting, which I'm going to flatten out, just like so, yeah. The reason I take the white is because you want them to, obviously, you're putting your meat in as well. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not well with it. It's sending me air curl and so yeah, so I hope you're all doing well anyway. I hope you're all staying safe. I love you much. I love you all very much. Just I love you much. So and it is very simple. Look at that. Look at how simple that is, yeah. And now for the PS of resistance. Put your part there. Just like so. There's no fancy way of doing it, really. Just close to all the... Put all the... Um, pack on now. Just make that close proper. Well, that's about right, yeah? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them, right? I'm going to wash my hands and I should be back in a second. And I'm back. And my mouth fell apart. Right. Sorry. Fold it over just like so. Squash down. If you've got any... Bits coming out, don't worry. Just like so. And blend it down just like that. Now, the reason why I'm sure the game's like, I just you don't really know what's going on. You know what I mean? And I've seen a lot of documentaries and stuff, and I'm like, I don't like knocking companies and stuff like that, but a lot of the time that I've been, it's just been stone cold as a pastor and stuff, and it's just not nice. Not just that, it's kind of rewarding making something yourself, do you know what I mean? It's one of them, and you go, oh my god, I have to remember myself. So, you know, not everybody likes making pastry. If, if, if you want to them, that's, you know, snob and you like to make pastry, not snob, but if you want to, you know, really bump it up, 
I've got a food mixer and stuff, but I'm showing you something that's simple. You know, this is the whole point of this show. Just to make it a little bit more simple and make it a little bit more easy. And people say they absolutely adore my show because I swear and because I'm just me, I'm real. Which you can't get more real than me, really. But yeah, so you can see just how simple that was, that process, yeah? You see that? Right? So, now, I'm going to wash it with an egg, yeah? Just like so, I love these eggs as well. I'm going to drop these eggs, so shout out to you, Grandma. Get me in from a farm, so they are the best of the best eggs. Oh my god, they are so amazing. Right, so I just wash them, and I'll tell you for why. This is why we do this, because it makes a golden brown taste, and it is so beautiful. Yeah? Just give them a good wash. With egg yolk. Oh, mm. my god, lovely. You can put patterns on them, you can make them fancy. I like to make them look rustic, so I just leave them as they are, really, if I'm honest. I don't like them looking like them from a shop. Like, they're just whole pound pastry. What do they call them? Pound bacon. I like to keep it simple. I'm just thick. So, yeah, but yeah, if you want to be fancy, they're fancy, my lovely. Alright, so I'm going to put these under the baking tray and we'll stick them in the oven. Now, they are going into the oven. Now, with that, at 220, they will be going in about. For about, about 18 to 22 minutes, dependent on your oven. So, there you go. Have a soon. And there we have it, guys. So, basically, I showed you today how to make something so simple, yeah? And make them go further. You join the pack, yeah? So, the pass is the red egg, and so is the cauliflower, broccoli, and leek cheese. So simple, with a twist, with a bit of rosemary timing, bit of seasoning. Absolutely amazing cheese sauce, which, which I've showed you, it will be absolutely stringy as hell. Absolutely perfect, guys, yeah? Absolutely lovely. It is a vegetarian option. Obviously, if you're lacto intolerant, you can get lacto-free cheese and milk, so it is possible to make, yeah? So without further ado, I'm going to show you the food. So thank you for watching, guys. Um, hashtag, it's worth talking about. Here we go. Um, hashtag, it's okay to talk. Hashtag mental health. Hashtag come cook me easy tasty meals and come cook me easy tasty meals too. Um, hashtag let me come let me cater to you. And also you can find me on YouTube, Nathan Bosch do it. And I do have my own catering business, which is let me cater to you. Watch your space because I will have my own place soon enough, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And also watch your space for the LGBT group that I will be hopefully starting up soon. Also, I've had a bit of training and stuff, so there we go, guys. Same here. Here we go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah? Oh, you beautiful golden pastas. Beautiful. Which is pulled pork, cranberry, and stuffing, and pulled pork, apple sauce, and stuffing. If you don't like them, you can also try the Dijon mustard or whatever you want on meat. So, if you need any tips, please don't hesitate to come to me. Stay safe, stay happy, and if you need to talk, I'll do it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.